So login page test, I'll create uh, test ng, create test ng class, but even I, I just need uh, test cases only, I need only test cases, LinkedIn login page test. I don't want any other thing. Maybe I need for before class only for uh, no creating object for that class object I need to create, right? Or even I can create in the thread test also. No? But so every object I don't want, right? So that's why I'll create in the before class setup. I'll do setup. Only before class I took and test methods. So I'll put uh, no setup method on the top. Remaining things, I'll uh, put it here. Okay. So here, first I'll declare, um, so private uh, logger log equal to, so logger dot get logger. So you can see, dot class extends extends test base that extend the test base class right that's the so you want to use the driver keyword and read method any any methods that you want to call so you need to extend that's mandatory now first uh, I am going to uh, declare LinkedIn login page. Um, so login page variable. Just to declare in the login page variable. So import this class also, right? This variable I declared, but I'll import here. So you can write uh, log dot info. So creating so login base, creating login base. Creating login base object. So that's it. Just create an object. And first method is what is the first method? So verify uh, sign in header text, right? Sign in header text. Sign in header text. So you can put so log dot debug. Say I can say simply start off this method. Accept dot accept true. Accept dot accept true. So the element you call, what element you have to call login is dot is <coughs> see is element uh, is sign in, right? Is sign in header text present. So if not, you can say sign in header text is not present. So this message will print for it. That's it. So just we are doing some so verification, right? You're just doing whether that is there or not. End of that method.
Okay. So next method, I'm creating one more test method. So what is that? Verify um, <coughs> login page title. So you can use accept or true or whatever it is. So this is a returning uh, get LinkedIn sign in page title. So contains, I'll put contains. So the method for some value you can put. So so variable, you go to the so LinkedIn home page. So this page title, we need to validate. So let's see. What is the page title? Maybe in more test cases you can write validate, forget password, validate Google, uh, sign in with Google, sign in with Apple. All this you can validate, right? So whether those are there or not, you can check all the different different test cases. This footer links are present or not. Giant now link is present or not. This is one test case. Check uh, giant now link is there or not. Check forget password is there or not. This is another test case, right? So these test cases you can. Uh, Validate. Maybe just presence, uh, you can check that. If it is present only, you can click right. Otherwise, first check the verification. So, verification also one test case. So, you can write another test case also. You can take up all this uh, extra if you want more test cases. Validate also, you can do click on uh, pirate password. That also you can do. So this is the another test case we added. Sign in. Please type in. Is not correct. So maybe you can write is not correct or something you can write. Okay. So let's include this also in the XML file. So both the test cases will run it. So open your uh, XML file. So add the class. So what is com dot here dot LinkedIn dot test cases dot the class name. Let's run this. This is the form.xml. Right click. So run as Maven build. Every class is different. So you have to, instead of before suit, you have to keep the before class in the test base. So that every class will run and close and then it will start the next class. Otherwise the order is going to be a problem. Otherwise you can run parallelly also. So multiple, uh, Test tags you can put each test tag one one uh, problem.
So it failed. So let's see the fail. Two failures. Verify not correct. No such verify sign in header text because it didn't go right. So that's why I was telling uh, what you can do. These titles, uh, it's not working properly. What we can do, I can keep partial. Okay, I don't want this also. Okay, let's see. So also, I'll change in the test base because when you are adding more test cases, so you have to change this be instead of before so, just put before class so that every class after the uh, so the test case will close automatically. So that next time onwards, the next will start. So after class, report for uh, class report. Now run this. Errors, no errors, right? Let's run. This time it should go fine. This first class will run. First browser will launch, application will open, then test cases will run, closes. Again, to start the second test case, first again browser will launch, application will open, second test case will run. But uh, I think we made some. At it. I'll, I'll tell you why it is not going to work out. Let me tell you. Second test case, so it will fail. Why it will fail? Let me tell you. See here. So why it is going to fail here is because the read the exception base carefully read. <clears throat> Verify sign in header text, no such element exception. Why it is throwing no such element exception? Because this element is not there, it's still in the home page only. So you have to change your test case. So what you need to change? You have to create object for the home page. And that you need to call precondition. The precondition is LinkedIn home page. So home page objective create. And then you have to create object. Why I am creating object? This class, there is a sign in click uh, method, right? That I have to call here to go to next space. Otherwise I cannot uh, do that, right? So I cannot uh, know, uh, see the sign in header text and uh, login page. When you can see login page, if you click on that, then only you can see, otherwise you cannot see. So that I'm going to use. So this login page, it will return the login page. Again, it will return the login page. Login page is equal to home page dot, this is a precondition for me. Um, that's why I'm writing in the before class one. Click on sign in link. See, this should finish before running these test cases. That's why I'm putting in the before class one. Throws declaration. Otherwise, what will happen? So it won't click through. It will be there in the home page only. So the before class, what it will do there, it will open in the same. So that's why you are writing in the before class. So now see it will pass. The flow is important. You should understand the flow. As per the flow, you have to design the test cases. If you are not designing as per the flow, test cases won't pass. 
just calling the page and those test cases if you write it doesn't work out you have to navigate to that page right if you navigate to that page only the next page validations and verifications will be successful if that is not doing any validation and uh, navigation is not doing and it doesn't work out the first one is done the second test case started see it went there and we are able to see now even if you want you can highlight highlight the elements see both are passed now okay so all four test cases are passed clear so the next test case is done so now what is the next test case we need to do we have to do the linkedin feed piece so let's create a new test case linkedin feed piece you want me to stop or every piece uh, is fine feed paste test here the preconditions are there basically some preconditions are there the preconditions are i have to so first so login okay so then then only it will go to next so feed page so that you design the pages okay you design that so properly you design it okay so but you should know what you want to do in this page so what you want to verify here after login what you want to verify right what you want to verify so after login what you want to verify So I want to verify this uh, login. So the profile rail card I want to verify. So then I want to do this page title verification. Then I want to do some of these, all this uh, start a post also. If you want to do, you can do that also. So there is a lot of things you can do in this page, right? Maybe you can verify, you can get all these uh, menu items. They will ask this. Get all these menu items. How can you get all these menu items? Another test case you can write. I try it out, okay? So you can try. This is the one, UL. So this is the list. Okay, this is the list. UL. Each L is one uh, UL tag. See the next one, my network. Third one, fourth one, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, so eight, eight options are there are navigation menus. Get all the navigation menus, print them. So you can try this, okay? Try this test case, another test case. But I'll do this uh, profile rail card verification and base title verification. So even profile rail card also, if you want, we'll do, then log out. I want to log out. So I want to log out also. You can do log out also, okay? So this is all that things you want to do first you have to create objects for from where you need to navigate first home page onwards you need to navigate right so all those classes you have to create object all those classes you have to create object so this is the one you create object for all those classes so this is what we need to do here okay so and also first you logger i think we so put the loggers. The loggers also you can place it. I'm putting the first logger and extend base. Make sure you extend that, okay? So without extending, it doesn't work out. So extends test base class. Extends. So this is the many places the test base base class you are extending to all your test cases. That's the inheritance. You can tell that where you have used inheritance. So this is the one area you can tell that. And the encapsulation, you can tell piece classes. So web driver is an interface. And you're creating web driver, driver equal to new Chrome. That's a method, uh, no overriding concept, uh, runtime polymorphism. So web driver methods, you're overriding. 
uh, method overriding, polymorphism also there. So these are all different, different OOPs concept you can explain very clearly if you understand the Java. Okay, so here I'm creating object for this and I want to create object for the LinkedIn feedback piece. Because I, I want to call that page class objects here. That's why I need to create object. LinkedIn feed page. Feed page. So you create object, feed page. New. So LinkedIn feed page. Okay. Import that. So done. So okay, it will happen. It will go and it will uh, log in. So even I can do uh, login in with the method. I'll do with the method. Okay. So see at the rate test. So public wide do login test. So I'll, I'll perform the login with this. I can give a priority for this method. So the after sign in, it will come here and log in, then it will go here. So, so verify the, so the profile rail card. So I can put verify profile rail card test. So you have to put a test keyword, okay? Everywhere test keyword is banded. That tells you it is a test case. Okay, so that's why you have to add a test case. See multiple test case you can add. And uh, even log out also you can put another test case if you want. Like this you can do many things, right? Okay, first uh, sign in is happening. Sign in is returning the login page. After login page, you have to call to the methods, right? Log.debug performing the starts oh. to login method. Okay. So login page dot do login. So you can see do login. You have to give username password. How can you call username password? Read property value. So null is what is the value? So username, what is that? It's config, config.properties. So this is the one, name. You have to give this. Give name and password is again, same. So read property value and property name, PWD. Okay. So I'm logging in. This login method is a return type method, right? Just see what is the login method structure. So you can see that login method is returning what? If you go to LinkedIn uh, login page, you can see login method is returning what type of data. So it is returning LinkedIn feed page. So it is returning the LinkedIn feed page. You go there, and this method is returning feed base. Return type method we are just calling. So it returns. So if you want to do some verification here itself in this method itself, you can do. Otherwise, you can log out. Right? You can log out. Not a problem. So then, uh, log dot info. Login is successful. You can do that. So then you can do a verify profile rail card. So you can do verify profile rail log dot debug. You can do starts verify profile rail card test method. You can do that. Like this, you can develop all the test cases, action methods, verifications, 
So this is the action method, right? Login, performing the login. And that's a one test case. You can write a so description, all the description method. You can see login to liquidity. You can do that. So this one, just verification you can put. So description, uh, you can put verifying profile rail card element. So I want to, this method depends on do login test. So depends on methods. See all test in G, again test in G we are using do login test. Do login test. Okay, so this method depends on this do login. If do login is not successful, this won't pass. This won't execute. That's what I want, right? So feed pays dot. So what do you want to verify? Um, is element present, right? So I, I need to call asset dot, asset dot, asset true. See, feed pays dot is profile rail card is present. You can see that is profile rail card is present. So otherwise you can say profile rail card element is not present. So this is all logs. Okay, so that's it. Say the method is ending. These are verifications also one test case, guys. Okay, you can you have to do verifications also. Because that element, that's a, you're ensuring the page is loading. So something, right? You can do verification on another test case, at the rate test, uh, public to wide, Verify feed page title. So verify feed page title test. The test keyword is mandatory in the test method name. That will ensure you you are doing a test case. So I'm verifying the feed page title. See, see, I'm going to use. So I'll just quickly finish. So, uh, so here feed piece, you get the text, get title, right? Get feed piece title. Get uh, text is there. Get LinkedIn piece title. Get feed LinkedIn feed piece title. You're getting contains so contains uh, method I'm calling string right string just a feed is there see feed LinkedIn partial so partial you can put uh, so I I don't want to give this I don't know how many notifications I'll get right so I'll give partial that's why contains I'm using I'm not I don't know 99 you will get you will get more notifications. See, this notifications count is showing here. But I don't know, right? Tomorrow it will be less also. That's why I'm just thinking this is there or not in this space right? Otherwise, you can say simply. So is not present. Is not correct or whatever it is. You do that. So this also depends on methods. You can say. So depends on methods, which method it depends on? Which methods it depends on? Do login. So do 
login test. So both you know this, if you want to verify this, so do login has to be successful. Otherwise, it won't be successful for you. Even I want, um, see, I want to get all these menu items. How can you get? So I'm just giving a clue. You try it out. See, U L L I F A. If you write, so you're getting the, the first one is home, right? Uh, home. So you're getting home here, home title. One title you have to give. So this one. So how can you write XPath for this? First of all, how can you get all these menus? So let's see. Control double forward slash UEL. What is the UEL here? Global now primary items class. So copy this. Just a minute. So global now primary items. Oh, there are spaces. See, this is the way you will, you will use contains. This is the way you need to use contains. If there spaces are there, we don't know, right? That's why you have to use the spaces. Contains uh, formula. Contains at the rate class, the class value. Then LAF A. It is giving one of five. So the five items, right? One, two, three, four, five. So five items it is giving. So all the five items you'll get. See? So LAF A. So if you want still more, you can uh, get other things also. These are the these are the images, okay? This images we don't want. Okay, so you just need a number of things you want. This you can get it. So if you still want span, so you can give. See, total eleven it is giving. How many eleven is there? One, two, three. So let's see. You can one by one. First to home. Second, my network. Third, jobs. Fourth. Messages, notifications, and uh, okay, uh, notifications, messages, and so more than okay, 11. So you're getting 11. So so based on the XPath, how you, but otherwise just, you know, get the only uh, this values and that you can, so write at the rate to find, finds by, that will give you uh, a collection, the collection of elements, you can print it. So that's how uh, find by we have seen, right? Till now, in the page classes, find by we have seen. Right in the page classes, we have seen find by. So you can use finds by, at the rate finds by. At the rate finds. So you can see find bys. There is a find bys which will return collection. Find, find all also. Find bias. So you can give X path. You can get all of them. But you have to store in the list collection. Remember that. Okay. So you have to store find bias. Okay. Find by all there. Mouse over. So find all, find all is there. So what is, okay, that's also not there. A collection of things, one is there. 
So we need to see what is the collection of things. You can fetch it. You have to go to documentation and find out what is that collection of. Let, let's run this first and then we'll see that, okay? So what are the test cases we can do here? I'll, uh, this is done. Feed test, right? Logout, we need to do logout. At the red test. So depends on methods. M capital. So do login. Login is mandatory. Without login, you cannot log out. So that's why I'm writing another one. Public. So wide to log out test. And mm, perform the logout, right? So I'm going to perform the logout. Starts logout test. So you are in the login page. Uh, feed page dot to logout. So the method. This is a uh, just a wide method, so you can put this one. Okay, that's all. So these are the many test cases we have written. Okay, you can run all the test cases. Let's include this test case. So in the test ng.xml. Um, dot clear dot so LinkedIn dot test cases dot class name. So let's go and run this now. This is how we can run multiple test cases, how you can develop and run it. Maven build. Three test cases we are running. So third test case, last one. So it will read the data from properties file, login. Oh, something wrong. I think we have given a wrong password. So let's move on. Hmm? This is correct only. Okay. So maybe I have to see in the properties file whether I given a correct or wrong one, okay? So done. The logout is done. So all the test cases are done. You can go and see the report now. So let's go and see the report. So you will get a better idea, right? Total eight test cases. So now refresh the page, refresh your project. So let's complete this. The build is success. All the test cases are completed. Refresh. And now you can see in the target, okay, in the target, 
surefire report, extend report, right? Extend reports. So this one. If you want to fail one task, you can fail it. So fail and see how it is uh, showing in the report. You can see that. Copy and go to the any browser, okay? Any browser, you go see this. The report, how it is going to show it to you all the test cases. See, total eight test cases passed. You can see, passed, passed. So all the test cases passed, passed. You'll get a report like this. Okay, and you can see the information, whatever we have written here. So this also you can get it. Which browser you are running also, if you want, you can give that to browser value also in that. So extend to manager, you go and change that. So we have given automation tester, organization, and build number we have given, right? That's only we have given, build number. So that's what uh, the build number also string. You can give if you want which operating system and also uh, which browser you are running that also you can give and uh, it will print here which environment, so the build environment. You can give build number also, whatever. There you, it is easy for you to track also, which build you are running also, you can track it. So that's the complete. Uh, so last test case is pending now. So last test case, what is that? Search results test. So let's create a last test case, finish quickly, and we can now, uh, Close it. As case, then we I have to show you how to run in Git GitHub Jenkins. How to place the code? LinkedIn search results test. Okay. For this, um, okay, and I need to explain some more point here. One more important point. Okay. Results are test. Extends test base. So you extend the test base class. But I need to read the data for this uh, search edit box. I want to do uh, Data driven testing. I want to do a data driven testing. So we need to do a data driven testing. Data driven testing, where you can do here. So there is a search people uh, option is there. You can search multiple people here. So in this search edit box, first if I enter uh, so Ramesh, see what is the results. Okay. Then uh, you go to see all people results space. Space, you go and uh, we can see our people results. So you will get the count, this count you need to get it. Then you verify this page title, Ramesh uh, search results, or uh, so whatever the keyword and that you can verify that. That is the one. Again, you have to click on the home tab, you go to the this feedback feed page and type uh, Venkatesh, right? Press enter. So this is how I need to repeat my test case for multiple uh, keywords. Same scenario, repeating for multiple search keywords. That is called data-driven testing. So, and you can get this count, you get it. So then I'll give, so Priyanka. So let's give all these names. So different, different keywords we have to give. See, directly you're getting. So that means you don't have a see all people results link here. So when I give Priyanka, so that's what every time if you change the data, so you will come to know. See, see all people is not there. Some keywords you will get, you won't get. But how you can handle that? These are the tricky concepts 
you need to handle in the while coding type. So first of all, uh, let's create the XML Excel sheet. Excel sheet, uh, that Excel sheet data. So maybe I'll add a few keywords I'll add, like those now. I'll add. So we'll see what will happen. See again directly you're getting. So I will add uh, Safi. See what will happen. So you're getting directly. So that means few keywords, CL people results is not there. The below bottom side link, uh, you will get here, right? CL people results. That link is not there. Then how you can handle few keywords, it is a few keywords, it is not up. See for my name, if I type a partial. I'll get a CL, but directly I'm not getting the results count. Okay, I'm getting directly results count. Okay, maybe I, I'm not going here, right? That's a reason. I have to click on every time home tab. See? So every person is going to get CL. Yeah, this is a few persons you won't get that. So that I'm checking. Let's see to whom you won't get. Again, you have to go to click on home tab. This remember these steps, what we are doing. We are typing in the feed page. After typing, I'm pressing the enter key. It will go to search results page. See here also you got CL people results page. Then you get this uh, count. Then I'll click on the home tab. Then I'll give uh, again feedback uh, feed page you are entering. And you come here, uh, see all people results are there. So very rare name we need to see. That is, do you think? See, okay, we didn't go home tab. That's so that that steps you should not forget. If you forget the steps, uh, you won't get the flow. Flow will change again. So see all people. Every time we are getting, but fine. If you're getting, that's good, okay? So this one, how you can do a data-driven testing? So all this data you store in the Excel sheet. From the Excel sheet, you read it to your program, uh, your data provider annotation. From Excel sheet, you are reading. How you are reading data from Excel sheet to here, which concept you need to use? Apache Poi library. This is the question they will ask. How can you read Excel sheet data to your programs? You have to give answer. Apache Poi libraries. They will provide a ready-made classes. What are the classes they are providing? First one is Access Workbook. X, S, F, sheet. So these classes inside you have methods. Get, get last, get sheet to first get the sheet from the workbook. Uh, from that sheet, get the rows count, get last cell number, get last row count. So the row count and column count, you get it. And then you create an object class, then it read that. So this is the concept I already explained the Excel sheets, how you can, even you can read the data from Excel sheet to your test case. And then you can write the data from your program to Excel sheet using this Apache Poi library. Apache Poi library only you can use to do this. Okay, so that's how we can do. First, let's uh, store the, in our project structure itself, if the data component is the right, this is the empty. In this data component, we'll store our Excel sheet. So let's create a you know, first Excel sheet, okay? Go and store Excel sheet. Excel, open the Excel sheet. Create Excel sheet. Maybe tomorrow I'll show this uh, search results text. And then how to run Maven, we are done already. Test NG, we are done. Directly, I will show you how to run in the Jenkins tomorrow. So just add a keyword. First heading, the keyword I'm putting. Let me well put.
Okay, so like this, you can add multiple keywords. Okay, so multiple keywords you can add here. So save this. So this is a data driven means different sets of data you are adding, putting in the Excel sheet. From Excel sheet, you need to get the data. From Excel sheet, you need to get the data. Even your uh, username, password also you can uh, read it from here only. You can put here and you can read any data you can put in the different sheets and that sheet you will give wherever you want okay so let's go directly my uh, so e drive i kept my programs right eclipse workspace so uh, so let me see where is this project so where we stored this right click properties e eclipse workspace selenium okay the different uh, workspace will create e drive correct e drive eclipse workspace space selenium here it is so workspaces two i created so this is the one this project inside src inside test folder inside java com qa linkedin data com here I need to store. So here you can select all files, all files or Excel workbook also fine. Okay. So you give the name. What is the name you have to give? Save as a type. I'll select all files. All is not there. There is Excel workbook also fine. So just give test data. Test data xlsx dot uh, dot xlsx. Save this. So now go here, and you can see now your uh, Excel sheet. Refresh this. Now it is not there right here, right? So you refresh, you can get that file here. See, you got the file here. Test data dot xlsx. So from this file, you have to read the data, okay? So you can close now, so no need. See, it's already here, sdata.xlsx. So from this file, I have to read the data and I have to supply to my test method. So how can we do that? That I'll show you tomorrow, okay? So finish this and come back. Uh,